Here is a list of Afghan war-based movies to understand the country's ongoing crisis. Number 10. 12 Strong. A 2018 action war film, 12 Strong is helmed by Nikolai Fulsig and written by Ted Talley and Peter Craig. It is based on Doug Stanton's non-fiction book Horse Soldiers and tells the journey of U.S. Army Special Forces who were sent to Afghanistan immediately after the September 11 attacks. The action scenes have been handled well. The entire cast has done a pretty decent job and the production quality is quite good too. This movie is worth a watch it shows many beautiful qualities which every leader should possess and also it shows that Chris Hemsworth is much better actor who doesn't need to be called just Thor anymore. A good film to watch worth your while. Number 9. Kajaki. As the title would suggest, the war story Kajaki. The true story dramatizes a real-life incident when a squad of British soldiers endured a harrowing experience, resulting in multiple casualties after venturing into an Afghani minefield by mistake in 2006. It is a scrupulously realistic, painfully tense cinematic experience. All the elements of cinematography work together to create the requisite atmosphere of angst and tension. Kajaki is an extremely suspenseful war drama that despite not taking the conventional approach, stands out amongst the ever-growing stream of war movies. Number 8. Zero Dark Thirty. An American thriller directed Catherine Bigelow, Zero Dark Thirty is based on the story of CIA operative and analyst Maya, who along with her team, runs a decade-long search in locating terrorist Osama bin Laden, responsible for the 9-11 attacks. The Jessica Chastain starrer throws light on the torture methods used by the US forces to get to the truth, but it is more important as it takes us on the chase for the world's most wanted, Osama bin Laden. The film could have been much shorter. Clocking in at close to three hours, the film's premise is based on a series of events that spanned close to a decade, but the suspense is built, almost in real time, on slow burn. It gives you the feeling of being there, as it happens. Number 7. Armadillo. The documentary film talks about Danish soldiers participating in the War of Afghanistan. They were stationed at Helmland province and depicts the lives of the soldiers there in war and leisure. The Danish documentary, Armadillo, likewise created waves at various important award ceremonies in 2010, including the Cannes Film Festival. The film, directed by Janice Metz, is all about Danish soldiers fighting in Afghanistan. The film was a hit as it discusses about real-life happenings at the base. It showed another side of the war between soldiers and enemies, and although it won an Emmy Award for the news and documentary, it was met with controversy. The film clashes with the Socialist Party over conduct and engagement, but the soldiers were cleared. Number 6. Osama. This 2003 film is a powerful independently produced story about a young prepubescent girl living under the Taliban rule. Forced to work in a household without a father, and a mother who cannot work due to the Taliban rules, she has to dress and pretend to be a boy in order to survive. A powerful film of survival and of an amazing protagonist's dedication to do whatever it takes to thrive. Osama is a spectacular film, based on true events, and the interpretation of the amateurish cast is so perfect that sometimes the movie looks like a documentary. The film is very powerful and although the real magnitude if the suffering in Afghanistan will never be known to its full extent. Number 5. Taxi to the Dark Side. Early in the war in Afghanistan, a taxi driver was hired to drive some other Afghans across the country when the taxi was stopped by U.S. forces interested in the passengers. The taxi driver was scooped up with the passengers and interrogated by U.S. forces. This taxi driver was later found dead, killed through torture, and the crime was covered up. This documentary uses this particular case as a starting point to examine the U.S. use of torture in the war on terror during the Bush administration and ends up at Abu Ghraib prison in Iraq. A fascinating portrait of a country that lost its way, and of a crime that never should have been committed. 
it is likewise the subject of the Oscar-winning documentary. Number 4. The Road to Guantanamo. This documentary tells the true story of a group of friends that were in Pakistan for a wedding and end up, through a chain of events, in Afghanistan at the proverbial, wrong place at the wrong time, and find themselves in U.S. custody, transferred to Guantanamo Bay in Cuba, despite not having any evidence of their involvement in terrorist activities. A powerful film about the corruption of the U.S. and Guantanamo Bay, an institution, which America cannot seem to get rid of, despite universal loathing. The location shooting, combined with actual newsreel footage give this film a superb look which make it a great viewing experience, regardless of whether you feel that it is one-sided or unpatriotic. Number 3. The Tillman Story. So, was everything a lie? That has been the question of the century when the Tillman story was shown. It was a documentary film about the cover-up of the death of football player turned army men, Pat Tillman. It also shows the family's fight for the truth. When Pat is killed in Afghanistan, the government uses his death to propagandize the war, covering up the fact that he was killed by friendly fire. The movie can make you wary of the operations going on in the military. It places you on the edge of your seat as you reel in for answers. This investigative documentary lets you inside the minds of the military people and the citizens who look up at them. It received a 93% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, 86% on Metacritic, and 7.8 in IMDb. Number 2. Lone Survivor. The movie was spectacular and gave honor to the book despite adding some historical inaccuracies. Overall, the movie adaptation has given proper emphasis to the plotlines, characters, and depth. It has an equal balance between the story and actions taken, and each character was genuinely portrayed by astounding actors. The costume department offered a great detail on their uniforms and clothing which added to the movie's believability. It won four awards and was nominated for two Academy Awards in Sounds. All actors have given great performances but eventually, it's Mark Wahlberg whose performance impressed me big time. Number 1. Restrepo. Restrepo is a documentary made by journalist Sebastian Junger and his British photojournalist Tim Hetherington. The two were assigned by Vanity Fair to cover a story in Afghanistan and were embedded with the second platoons from their deployment and departure to home. At the film's end, the film's subtitles tell us that the Korengal Valley, after so much blood and sweat was spent to secure it, was eventually abandoned by U.S. forces. In this way, the entire film serves as a metaphor for the entirety of the U.S. mission in Afghanistan. The movie was hailed as one of the best documentary movie of that year. It even received a high rating from Rotten Tomatoes with 96% score. The movie grabbed the Grand Jury Prize during the 2010 Sundance Festival and the nomination for Best Documentary at the Academy Awards.